The Fierce Hot Oil guys, today we're featuring something exciting, something new for new, something classic, or something rare. The funny car. Lately, Hot Wheel comes out with a lot of funny cars. Like I said, the Monster is wise. And all the other weird ones. The uh, Pop Cat opener that I, I I reviewed and some other ones. So, anyways. Number 112 out of 215. Special features. Best for track. It's a street wiener. Highway Metro. Take a CD. Taking the city by storm one cool ride at a time. So there you go. Let's look at the special feature. It says that the spoiler is open and closed. Let's open it. The designer of the this Hot Wheel was Rua Sada along with uh, Neil Smith. So, here, here you go. Sorry. Anyways, when I saw it, it reminded me of a Wiener Mobile. Well, one of the cars that I've seen that looks like this. Well, let's go back in this. It's lime green five spoke wheels, sausage with a lot of the hot dog, spatula, bumper. Rear spoiler that looks like a grill that closes. There you go. There you go. Look at that. I'll keep it closed because I don't want to. There's so much downforce for it, and I don't think it's going to last long. So who knows? It might just keep it closed. That way it doesn't get broken as fast. So Street Wiener 2017. There you go. What else in here that are that's valuable? So here you go, guys. Pretty nice looking hot dog logo. Gotta have the Hot Wheel logo on it. Also, spatula, gr a grill spatula, just like I said. Oh, pretty nice. It says best for tracks. We'll see how fast it's gonna go on tracks. And since it has the bumper that lift up. We'll see if it makes a uh, 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 through the loop. Now, Winter Mobiles is a series of automobiles shaped like a hot dog on a bun, which are used uh, to promote an ad advertising by Oscar Myers products in the United States. The first version was created in 1936 by Oscar Myers' nephew Carl G. Meyer. Anyways, uh, the drivers of the of the Oscar Meyer's Wintermobiles, uh, they call hot doggers. They're currently about eleven win Wintermobiles uh, in the in the U.S. that are driving right now. All over the U.S., they come back and forth. So, anyways. They call them hot doggers, and now they give out the toys and all that stuff, just to, or the whistles that look like a winter mobile. So a lot of full size uh, models. So there you go, guys. It's just a little overview, and here's the Oscar Myers. All right, here's a little overview of Oscar Myers. Oscar Meyer was born in Kelsener, part of uh, Nerishame in the Kingdom of Württemberg, where his family had been foresters and ministry for a generation. Where he was, uh, well, he was child. Württemberg became part of the German Empire. In 1873, he emerged to the United States and lived in Detroit. So basically, he he was born in 1859. Yeah. 1873, so he was about, what, 23 years, 22 years. Uh, he moved to Detroit with his, uh, with his cousin, Josh, John Schroll. Uh, he worked in the city meat market and uh, 
found uh, uh, Meyer found work at Armor and Company in Chicago North Side in 1880. He started his idea of starting how own meat business uh, with his young brother uh, Gottfried. Sorry, guys, this is just not the unusual names and all that. So, meanwhile, Oscar began saving the money while his brother was uh, learning how the sausage made and all the flavors and all, I guess, and all. He started saving up the money to start his uh, own business. So, when he was 24 years old uh, with his brother, uh, got fired. And Max, five years later, the proprietor who owned the store refused to renew Meyer's lease, hoping that he could profit from Meyer's business success. Pushed out uh, on his own, but so Meyer bought a property and constructed a two story building for his business and family. 1887, he got married. Uh, so there you go. Uh, by 1900, uh, he, he had 43 employees. So by the time of his death uh, in 1955, he died in 1955, two weeks before his uh, 96th birthday, he had about 9,000 employees with facilities in Davenport, Iowa, Los Angeles, Milwaukee, and Philadelphia. So there you go, guys. Just a little bit of an uh, overview of how that his wife, it says his wife died in 1931. So until 1955, he was single, I guess. He had four children. That's how Oscar Meyer began. So sometimes pushing somebody over the limits can cause a lot of trouble for their for the companies because they somehow gonna have some someone who's gonna compete compete them. You know, just like a Lamborghini who got fired for Ferrari, and later on he decided to open up his own company. And there you go. Now they're competitors. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. See you guys next time. And stay tuned for more fun cars, more fun activities. And uh, if you got any more information, feel free to add on, guys. And let's just uh, make it family friendly and go on from here. Thank you, guys.